All right, so we are getting ready to do some fence. I keep looking at this screen. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, let's try to look at the lens. So right now we're going to do some fence and uh, we're gonna run some temporary wire for these cows. Uh, just some poly wire and uh, run it across the top down into the holler and uh, hook it up and that'll give them some more grass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess two days of grass and uh, the kids right now are loading posts. They love helping with fencing. They pulled all these posts out yesterday for us and uh, you know we'll just keep adding to our post collection as we can so we can afford it. It's just uh, we're using what we have so we pull up fence, we put up fence, we pull up fence, we put up fence. And uh, that's the name of the game with uh, pasture rotation right now. So we're going to go up top and put some more fence in. I think I have everything bush hog up there that I need to run this. But we'll see when we start uh, going along with it. We might need to bush hog some more. So me and Jack, Lydia, are you coming with us? Yeah. And Lydia and Josiah and Jeremiah. And, oh, and Lerm's coming too, or Emma. <laughs> I call her Lerm. That's a long story, so we won't get into that. All right, y'all. Let's try this again. All right, y'all. We're up here, up top. Hopefully, you can hear me with this wind. It's pretty windy up here. Um, it wasn't so bad at the house, but we're a little bit higher elevation here. But uh, we are going to run wire now. Let's see. I'll show you where we just grazed them. I'm not sure. Well, the sun is behind us or in front of us, so it's kind of hard to tell. Like on the left side right here is where they haven't or where they just grazed. And then over here, all this is where we're fixing to move them to. I don't know if y'all can hear them bawling, but uh, they typically come very well when I call. So uh, we'll see how they do today. They'll probably show me that they're gonna be honorary. But uh, usually I can call them even from the bottom all the way up here and through the gate. But uh, here we go. I'm gonna let Emma hold the camera while we, we run the wire. Them. They just know that if we're doing something that probably means they're gonna benefit from it <laughs> They've came up here and we haven't even tried to get them up here. I had to block off the gate We instead of just closing I just left the tractor there and put some posts in but uh, it's pretty funny All right, y'all, this right here is autumn olive. I knew nothing about them until this past winter doing a uh, tree job or clearing job, more or less. And uh, they have got thorns on them, which, you know, nobody likes to get thorns, but one barely pierced me in the knuckle. And it ate, they evidently they cause uh, um, like a toxin, like an arthritis, if they get in a joint. They don't even have to be stuck in there, just, the, just it got me one time. And my knuckle hurt for a month. I had to take my wedding band off because my fingers swelled up. It was terrible. So if you ever fool with any of these leaves with the silver colored leaves, they're kind of a whitish silvery color. But uh, they are vicious. I would be very careful with them.
Yep, and then bring that one over here. And then are you going to pick up the fence for us? Right, we're going to walk back through this way to get to the tractor. Oh, yeah. Right here, this is going to be where it's going to be a low spot. Hey, I see what? Be a high spot if you don't. Hey, I see uh, um, a bunch of cows up there, huh? Yep. So I'm going to kill your bring back off. gate come up here all right here they come number 20 is always leading the pack well almost always she is a great lead cow they know that when I'm calling them it almost always means something good I think I've only tricked them a couple times putting them in the barn for some reason or another and uh, but most of the time they know when I'm calling it's good things so here she comes. I'm gonna call. Let's see here. Now I'm not even gonna call because they're coming on. So Jack is gonna go down and get a spool of wire. We forgot. Woo! Come on, girl. Come on, number 20. Come on, girl. And he's gonna go get a spool of wire. We forgot and left down here. And then he's gonna run down the ridge. Because we got the wire. Kind of goes way down through here straight down to the bottom of the creek come on girls come on you're on the wrong side yeah there's nothing in the bucket I'm letting you over here some grass yep see they're used to seeing that wire there now she's checking oh no wire there's grass here so they're gonna today is Saturday so I'm gonna and we're gonna actually close them in here and let their big part of their pasture just grow and uh, they've got access to water down the in the holler down here behind me and uh, we're just gonna let this grow for now I might not close this yet because I don't have all their calves up here but here they're coming through Let's see, there's five, six red ones, and one, two, three, four black ones so far. We've got seven black cows and seven red cows, and that's not counting Gertie. Right. Or the bull. Come on. Yeah, back up and give her some space. She's a little bit antsy. She throws a great calf, number three does. She's a pretty cow, but she's just a little bit hesitant around us. When we had to put them up and give them the... Uh, Clostridium shot. My goodness, she threw a fit in the head gate. It was, it was quite crazy. I was wishing, I was trying to do it on the cheap, and I bought smaller posts, thinking that they would be fairly calm. I was wishing I had bought the bigger post when we put her in. Here comes. This makes seven black cows once this last one comes in. Yep. Gertie, Miss Attitude, she's super friendly, but she is so pushy. Not mean pushy, just wants to do, she wants to do what she wants to do. She's a dairy cow, and that's how a lot of ours always seem to be. I think they're kind of spoiled like that. And here they are up here, grazing away, just as happy as they can be. So that takes care of moving the cows over here. Here comes number six, the one that was sick. She is, let's see if I can zoom in on her. I always go the wrong way. She's right there, coming on. Here comes some calves. We'll count calves and make sure we get all those in here and then we can just close the gate on them.
All right, y'all. Well, that consists of moving the cows, feeding the cows, uh, putting up this fence up here. So now we got them all in here, except there's a few calves. We're gonna leave the gate open and uh, let them filter in and uh, we'll close the gate later on today. I can't see all these cows coming out of there anytime soon. They got too much to eat, so. Anyway, on to the next project.